Rick, 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 League Podcast. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your family, tell your haters. Available on Google Podcasts, Anchor, Spotify, Radio Public Breaker, and Stitcher. At Rec League Podcast on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. At Rec League Pod on Twitter. Episode 23, available now. Yo, whether you watching this from Facebook, Twitter, Click the link in my Instagram or YouTube itself. What up, world? So I just saw The Angry Birds Movie 2. It's the sequel to The Angry Birds Movie that came out in 2016. It stars the voices of... I'm not going to get them all because there's a lot of people in this movie. But it stars the voices of Jason Sudeikis, Josh Gad, Danny McBride, Rachel Bloom, Bill Hader, Aquafina, Leslie Jones, Tiffany Haddish... Uh, Sterling K. Brown, Eugenio Derbez, Dove Cameron. It's directed by Thorop Van Orman and John Rice. I think that's how you say the dude's name. I, again, apologize for mispronunciations. Um, if you want to get a shout out in my review of Angel Has Fallen, stay tuned to the end of the video to figure out how you can do that. It picks up. Sometime after the defeat of the pigs and all of the eggs have been saved by Red and his homies, uh, Bomb, and I don't remember Josh Gad's name off the top of my head. I want to say Doug, but I know that's not it. And Chuck. Um, and among the celebration, there comes like an introspective moment like Red... Like, we get some backstory with Red. We got a little bit in the first movie. We get some backstory with Red and how he was always the outcast. He doesn't want to go back to that life. Like, he's appreciated now. He's honored now. He is seen as a bit of a hero now. And Bill Hader and the pigs, Aquafina, discover a third island. That third island is the new threat. It is up to the same team. Along with the pigs, they team up to stop this new threat led by Leslie Jones. And it's big old ice balls that they shoot to the islands. I can't really say I was excited for this. I wanted to see it because I thought the first one was good enough. The, 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 all the pig and, and, bird, and bird puns, like that's what kept me invested. I get, I get a kick out of puns, I'm sorry. Um... And I knew, like, like I need to know. This one is a Sony animation release. So did Sony kind of, like, go back? Because the first movie isn't Sony animation. This is just what goes on in my head. I know that y'all don't care about this. But did Sony just kind of, like, adopt the first movie? Is the, is the first movie officially, unofficially Sony animation now? Even though I know Sony released the first one, it wasn't technically Sony animation. Like, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Hotel Transylvania, Arthur Christmas, Into the Spider-Verse, The Emoji Movie. Those are Sony Animation. Angry Birds 2 is Sony Animation. So I need to know that. Um, and the trailers for this one, like I thought the first trailer was like Men in Black International uninteresting. But this like the second trailer, every trailer after the first one made me chuckle. So I, I gave it a shot. And for like the first quarter, the first third of this movie, I thought it was better than the first one. It was it was more entertaining. It was, it was a little more outrageous, outlandish. It was fun. And then I, after that, it just lost. It lost me. the The humor started to fall flat. Like the jokes weren't funny. The gags were just more over the top, similar to the first one. There's there's a side plot with with more eggs, and I mean, that was good. I mean, it's not a bad movie. Like there were, of course, there were kids in the theater. I was like, like I was the only grumpy old man in the theater that just wasn't laughing hysterically at this movie. Again, it's like it's like child's play syndrome. It's like Stuber. Every, like I, everybody else in the theater loves what's on the screen, and I think it's fine. Overall, this has been a letdown of a summer. Aside from Avengers, Long Shot, Spider Man, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Toy Story. Everything else this summer has kind of been a letdown. Uh, aside, one or two pri- surprises aside. I will say, like, 
Josh Gad, like I, Josh Gad, I'm sorry. I, I love Jason Sudeikis as Red. He, dude, like I said, I know I said three years ago in my review for the first one, dude is my spirit animal. I kind of even got the eyebrows. Um, Josh Gad, Danny McBride, like they're great as those three characters. Dude, everybody else is interchangeable. Like there's like um, Hannibal Burris, Ike Barinholtz, Sean Penn. Like Sean Penn's character is in this movie. He doesn't have lines. He just grunts and make noises. Nicki Minaj does some stupid British voice for the two scenes she's in. Shockingly enough, as much as Aquafina bothers me in most that she's in, she was fine in this. Um, and then, like, the, the first one kind of, like, plays on the game a little bit. I don't really, I didn't really catch any, like, references to the game, but I don't really play the Angry Birds game that much. So, y'all gotta let me know, did the second one have a lot of references to the game or not? Uh, they bit they Sony bit Disney super hard, and this isn't even a complaint. There's a short, there's like a five minute short before the Angry Birds movie that's real dope, and I feel like anybody with a family should check it out because that might have been better than the whole movie itself. Again, like it's it's a harmless sequel to a harmless movie, a cash grab, one one hour and a half long product placement. Um, for I don't even know if anybody plays this game anymore. Like I, I didn't laugh as much as I wanted to. Like the it had me for like the first like half hour, and then it just it became the same old tired, just ridiculousness. Uh, kids will love it. I don't think parents will hate sitting through it. With all that being said, man, in my opinion, I will say that the Angry Birds movie two is almost solid. Have you seen the Angry Birds movie too? What did you think about it? Positive, negative, somewhere in between. Let me know. And again, I might put the first one as better just because of those puns. Like The script for the sequel did not have a lot of bird, pig, eagle puns. And why is Tiffany Haddish killing the animation game this year? She's been in the Lego movie too, Secret Life of Pets 2, and the Angry Birds movie too. Killing the sequels, killing the animation, um, and I still haven't seen The Kitchen. It didn't come to my theater. So, um, have, which Angry Birds movie do you prefer, man? The first one, second one? What's your favorite animated movie this year except Toy Story? Because I know that's going to be everybody's go-to. Um, if you want that shout-out in my review of Angel is Fallen, what's the top five going to be, man? Tell me one through five what movie's going to finish in what place, man. Be the first. Be correct. And get your guesses in by noon Central Time Sunday, and you get shouted next weekend, man. I've recently posted a review for 47 Meters Down, Uncaged. I have a Hobbs and Shaw review up. And, you know, July releases, man. Spider-Man, Stuber, Lion King, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Crawl. Uh, I'm going to see Good Boys tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. Be on the lookout for that review. And the Angel is Falling will, will finish summer, finish August. And then, like, there's clowns and there's old war veterans and something else, a, an animated Yeti that I think I want to see in September, man. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Find me where you find me, man. Don't know where to find me. Watch these credits. Peace.